either a couple of weeks ago a thread was circulating uh, on uh, in the vinyl community uh, about 10 years of soul funk and disco uh, 1970 till 1980 and uh, I don't know who started it but I know I saw videos by James Buttery I know I saw a six inch six inch penis do one and Paul uh, X Junkie Nell he did one but who started it sorry I don't know um, but I'm jumping on the bandwagon that's already gone by who cares but I'm doing it a little different I'm gonna do two videos one is 1970 to 1980 and then I'm also gonna do a video 1980 till 1990 that's going to be interesting I guess um, so let's get started with my uh, 11 records from 1970 till 1980 my favorite records of the funk slash um, soul slash disco years uh, yeah I got them all just had to check starting off number uh, not, not number one this is not a number one to number 11 uh, it's 1970 to 1980 um, according to me some of my favorites um, I had to pick and there's one that's actually doesn't really belong here because it's uh, a jazz funk record but yeah, I'm doing it anyway starting off Curtis by Curtis Mayfield 1970 this is a US pressing gatefold original insert on uh, Curtum records uh, I believe this is well it's his, it is his uh, solo debut album and uh, what an album this is political funky soulful just an amazing album um, opening track don't worry if there's a hell below we're all gonna go it's just amazing um, it sets the tone for the album um, very much uh, a, a album that still is of this time not just of 1970 second album I got is from 1972 this is Roberta Flex chapter 2 um, not a huge huge fan of Roberta Flack but the album covers are amazing the music is very very soulful um, this is a European pressing on uh, Atlantic so this is 1972 good soul music continuing on the soul music and related to Roberta Flack or not really related but she worked with him is Donny Hathaway this is Donny Hathaway live I'm not a fan of live albums but this is an amazing one um, just really really solid this is a US pressing in, in near mint condition uh, 1972 and uh, yeah I love the song the ghetto again very political very soulful just very good 1973 this is a UK based project it's not even a, a band or an artist this is Mandingo with the uh, primeval rhythm of life this is a project that was started by I guess a guy called Jeff Love if I'm correct okay I got this from not firsthand um, Jeff Love was a studio composer he did a lot of uh, these soundtrack albums that ripped off Jaws and King Kong and stuff like that uh, but he also did this um, sort of library musicians but what you get is um, very much the black exploitation type soundtrack music of the 70s it's from that era but it does sound like it's a, a, a soundtrack to a black exploitation movie which is awesome 
So Mendingo, there's a, a couple of them. I've got two, and I think there's in total four of these Mendingo albums. They're not easy to find, but they're not very expensive. 1974, this is the jazz funk record. Bobby Humphreys, Satin Doll, um, on Blue Note. Amazing album, funky, uh, spiritual, and flute-based. Not just flute-based. Bobby Humphrey plays the flute. Um, it's got amazing artists on it. Harvey Mason, uh, Melvin Wawa Raggin, uh, Larry Mazel. It's a good album. Very good. Um, I have another album by Bobby, and that's as good as. 1970, where are we? Gee, time flies. 1975, I guess? 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 75, yeah. 1975 is an album that is by an artist that I have not seen anyone show, I guess, in that particular thread. Betty Davis. This is Nasty Gal on Island Records. It's got the original lyric insert. Raw, nasty, funky. Um, just a great, great album. Title says it all. It is a it's a pretty uh, nasty album. Yeah, essential, essential artist. 1976, yes. Jill Scott Heron and Brian Jackson, It's Your World, double album. Um, I think it has live versions of songs and studio versions of songs. Oh, I don't know what this is, but it's got the bottle on here. Um, Home is Where the Hatred Is. Uh, Bicentennial Blues, amazing um, political funk, Jill Scott Heron, um, a master, good, good album. 1977, I had to include Parliament or Funkadelic, but I included Parliament, this is Funkantelogy. Uh, first is the placebo syndrome. This one has a uh, flashlight, killer song, um, G funk, or the P funk, sorry, on Casablanca. Good stuff. Had to include that. This was a, this is a lesser known album or lesser known artist group. Uh, the last three are actually lesser known groups, but I had to choose them because I love them. First up, this is a uh, Watsonian Institute uh, with Master Funk, produced by Johnny Guitar Watson. That's him. He also plays on here. Excuse me. He uh, he wrote all the songs, with one exception or two exceptions. Uh, and he plays guitar on here. It's it's Johnny Guitar Watson style funk. So I love it. This is on TJM Records, UK pressing, Watsonian Institute, seventy nine. This is Sky. This is more of a disco-y thing, but still funk. This is disco funk, and it's really, really good. I discovered this at a thrift store. Didn't know about it, but had to have it. It looked awesome, and it is awesome. This is funky, sort of, yeah, funky electro-type music, disco stuff. It's on Sal Sol Records. Which is a label uh, I'll buy anything from. It's futuristic looking. It's 
it's not really futuristic, but it, it looks like it's futuristic. Self-titled uh, album from 1979. If you don't know Sky, it's Sky with double Y. Check them out. They're really good. Last record I got, I got it in plastic sleeve. Why? I'll, I'll explain. I'm not going to take it out. And I hardly ever play it. But this is the debut album by uh, Midnight Star. This is the beginning. Uh, I have it in this sleeve because it's moldy as hell. It, it literally is moldy as hell. Uh, I was able to clean the vinyl, put it in a separate sleeve on the back, but I need a new copy. <laughs> I need a new copy. One that's mold free so I can, I don't know, do something else with this. This is really, really good, by the way. Um, Midnight Star, if you don't know them, they're, um, uh, my next video will show them, most definitely. Uh, but they're sort of an electro-funk, disco-funk group from the 80s. And this is their debut, the beginning, from 1980. Awesome looking. It's on one of my other favorite labels. Sal Sol is one. But this label, Solar, killer, killer label, good stuff. This is 1980. That's it. Um, first video done. Going to do another one, and then you'll have two videos. I'm not going to upload them at the same time, but stick around. See you later. Bye-bye.